we just had breakfast and uh, we're going to Tulum. Tulum Tulum today and somewhere else and what somewhere else oh. <laughs> Sombreros and we could get sombreros. Do you remember? Uh, Jungle Maya Native Park. Jungle Maya Native Park. <clears throat> so that's what's happening today. It's so dark here in the morning when you're walking for breakfast, but it's nice now. All right, we'll see you on the bus. So now you're here again, knocking at my door. A little too late for I'm sorry for The lights went out cause you kept cutting the cord And I started to fade into your grave See I finally opened up my eyes And I saw me coming back to life That I'd be better without you inside It's time to be so Right so the entryway is Pretty cool, it's all the souvenir shops and a guy with an iguana that wants you to hold it and then pay you ten dollars. No, get paid ten dollars if you want a picture taken with it. So, cool if you want a picture of you holding a super large iguana, but if not, just keep walking. It's time to be someone I want to recognize. Okay, so I was wrong if you are taking a GoPro in or anything like that, it's 45 pesos to get into the park. So, just so you know, 45 pesos. So you have to watch. If it's windy or anything, they won't let you go down to the beach, but we were fortunate today. We got to go down, which was cool. And uh, it's warm enough. It's definitely warm enough. That's right. Perfect time. Here's a tour. And then goes to the water. 
because God is going to take you to the mansion of the heavens. It is symbolic, you know, and Mother Nature. Yeah. So Tons of tours there. like that happening around here. Um, we were lucky to get here a little earlier. Yeah. I think we got ahead of them. We're leaving where all the tours are kind of coming in. So we were able to get photos and videos with not a lot of people in them. And here's kind of the entryway or exit way, whichever you do it, I guess. And you can have a look how the trees grow on top. And one of the reasons why this place has suffered so much destruction. Let's go in. Follow me, please. Let's look for a clear space. So cool. The day is breaking softly and the night is glowing true I feel a million eyes but I can just see you no rain no thunder it's just your light your voice the heaven of our kids the wonder of our joy so breathe So traveler's tip, if you're coming here to Tulum, get here early because we're in and out already and this is what's happening. Plus that many in line. Yeah, plus just as many people in line to go in. So we were like in, saw everything, tons of photos with barely anybody in them. A lot of photos with nobody in them. For me. For you, yeah. And uh, yeah, you're important. I think so. I think so. So yeah. Anyway, try to get here early if you're on a tour. Hopefully, it comes here before. Uh, we got here at 8:39 o'clock. Yeah, it's 10:30 now, yeah. and it's busy, busy. Uh, also, it's 45 pesos to bring in like a GoPro or an action cam or anything like that. Cell phones are fine, but once you're in. They don't really check or anything, so if you had a backpack or whatever, and 45 bucks was out of your, and 45 pesos was out of your budget, just put it in your backpack while you're walking through. Nobody's gonna look. Or just spend the 45 pesos Not and support. Much. No, it's like two bucks, three bucks maybe. And it supports the park, so that's cool. All right, we're gonna go get some water, do some souvenir shopping, and then we're going to. Jungle Maya. Jungle Maya. All right, see you guys there. All right, so we just left, are we leaving Tulum? And it's a definitely a different experience than Coba. Way more commercialized. There's a senior frogs here. So if you want more authentic, I think like Coba was better. But Tulum is more picturesque. Yeah, for sure. All right, we're getting back on the bus. See you at the next stop.
All right, so we just finished zip lining and snorkeling and rappelling and all that stuff. Sadly, my uh, GoPro died about halfway through, and we didn't get the last two zip lines. But super fun. This part was definitely worth it. Uh, it's a great excursion, actually. I would I would do this one again. Just watch. Uh, you really, if you're going to bring a camera, only GoPros, and you have to either have a chest harness or a head harness. I had a baseball hat harness and they let me in with it but I had to do a fair bit of talking so take that with a grain of salt. Alright, we're getting back on the bus.